So for the credit note is um, maybe you made a sale to somebody and then they returned it and they told you they want their money back. Or when you're making a sale, you made a mistake, so you want to credit it. Maybe you kept an, you kept an extra amount than uh, the amount you're supposed to put. So when you're making a credit note, you must have the original receipt of, what you, of the item you are crediting. So when you have the original receipt, there's somewhere there written see your invoice number. So from, usually take the last numbers. For my case, it's 12. So when you're at registration mode, you press total. When you're issuing a credit note, it's like you're subtracting from the system. So you press this minus sign, it will bring receipt in. There, you input the invoice number of the receipt you're trying to credit from. For my, for my case, it's number 12. So you put 12. After that, you press total. When you're making a credit note, you have to make sure you have a credit note written there on your screen. If it's not written, that will go as another sale. So once it brings you to credit note 00, you input the amount you want to credit. For my case, I want to credit the whole amount. So my receipt was 2,000. So I input 2,000. I register that price by pressing SH and PLU. And then I put the item code of that item I'm crediting. So for my item was code number one. So I put code number one. I register that code by pressing PLU. I confirm with the R if it's okay. If it's okay, I press total. So the receipt will come out as written credit note up there. So this will credit 2000 from the original receipt. So for the credit note, you can actually do it days later, but usually recommend you do it the same day because there's something called the daily Z report. It can only be a positive number or a zero, but cannot be a negative number. So if you try crediting an amount Today, let's say you made a, a sale of 100,000 and you tried crediting the whole 100,000, it will go through successfully because there is somewhere it's being subtracted from. Tomorrow morning, your daily Z report, your daily sales will be zero. So when you try crediting 100,000 shillings from zero, Bob, it will, it will bring you an error because you'll have to have an equivalent amount of that amount you're trying to credit for you to be able to do that credit note. The next part is uh, the debit note. The debit note is you're adding something to a receipt you already produced. So when you're issuing, when you're issuing a debit note, when you're in registration mode, you press total. For the debit note, you press the plus sign. It will display receipt N. You put the receipt where you want to add something to. Let me use my original one, which was 12. You press total. So when you're doing a debit note, it should be written there, debit note. So there you input the amount you want to add, the amount you want to debit, let's say it's 5,000. You register that amount, SH, PLU. You. you put the code of that item you want to debit, let's say it's three. You register that code, you press PLU. You. you confirm if that's okay. If it's okay, you press total. If it's not okay, you void that cell. So this, this item will be added to the original, to the original receipt.